Hey everyone, Corey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a fly-in intro in Cinema 4D, and it's going to look kind of like this, um, and it's really simple and easy to make, and uh, let's get started. So, file new. First, what we want to do is add in the, well, change your settings right here. I go to output, film and video, 720, just so it, like, it goes to how I'm actually I'm going to see it, and then I just like try to angle it in the middle, so, you know, line up the green line with the floor. So we're going to throw in a floor real quick, so make a floor, then make another floor. Um, you should already know how to do this, but if not, go hold uh, hold down the light and then drag floor. Uh, then with the second floor selected, come over here to our rotation tool, hold down shift and drag the red until it goes to 90 degrees, which is straight up and down. And then we're going to double click, we're going to click the floor and then go to coordinates and we're going to hit the, we're going to change the Z from one, uh, from zero to 1000. What that's going to do is it's going to make it go back a thousand degrees, well a thousand, whatever it is. I don't know what it calculates as, to be honest. There we go. And then we're just going to justify how we're going to see it. And then if we render it, as you can see, we got a floor and a wall and we'll move this up a little bit more. There we go. Uh, it's all you know it's all preference on how now I'm gonna come up here and I'm not sure what this thing's called but it's like presets and stuff and then we're gonna go to um, the metal which is um, where is that at architectural edition materials metal and then I'm gonna choose the metal panels double click that it'll put it down here in your materials and they can just drag it onto the bottom floor and then if you render it out as you can see we have uh, tiles. Now we're going to add in a light just for some colors. Um, for this right here, what I make the light is I make it up. I change the Y. Make sure you're on coordinates. I change the Y to 1000 and then I change the Z to negative 1000. What that's going to do is bring it closer to like to you and um, farther away from the background. And then if we render it out, you know, it's got kind of good lighting. Um, you know, you can mess around with the lighting, mess around with it, whatever, but that's what it looks like now. Now we're going to add in our text, so go up to MoGraph, Text Object. We're going to go to Object and then change it. Um, I'm just going to name it Fly In Intro. And we're going to change the depth to about 80. That's what I usually use. We're going to align it in the middle. We're going to change the font right here. Click Font. And then I'm, I'm going to use the font Boris Black Box with two X's. Um, I'll try to put a download link in the description but if I don't uh, just go to dafont dafont.com and look it up but uh, and then right here as you can see uh, most people don't pay attention to do this but as you can see the zero well not zero the O is in the floor so you want to move it up a little bit so it's not in the floor like that and then when you render it out that's what we got now yes your other text is above it uh, above the floor but it's not a big deal uh, your intro is going to be kind of fast most people won't notice it and uh, you know if you want to fix it choose a different font that everything is uh, level but now we're just going to add, we're going to come down here, double click our uh, materials down here. It's going to make a new mat. And we're just going to choose a color. I'm going to make it a dark red. Not a big deal. And then drag that onto our font. Like so. So when we render it out, this is what we got. Just like our intro, except for it doesn't fly in. Now what you want to do is, uh, once you get all this done, you want to decide how far you want it to go. I'm going to go 60 uh, frames, which is 2 seconds. And then that's when I want it to be done. And then I'm on 90 frames. So then the other 30 frames will be showing this. So you want to come here to wherever you want it to be done flying in. And so like it flies in. And then when you want it to be here, that's the time you choose. Then hit create. Uh, click right here. It's a keyframe. And then a little blue thing will show up. And then you're done with that. So then what you want to do is drag the whole way back to zero and this is where you're going to start at. Then come up here, make sure your text is selected. Go to your rotation tool right here. Hold down shift. It's going to make it uh, rotate a lot. Like um, like I said earlier, it's going to make m rotate it uh, like every five. Every, I think it's every five. Yeah, every five and it's not uneven and all that stuff. But just drag it down the whole way until it spins back around to 360, uh, which is uh, you know a whole whole rotation around. Uh, you can do it longer if you want, if you wanted to do more than uh, one rotation. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make it come off the screen. So go back to coordinates, change the Y, which is around at 6.75. Just change that to like 500. What that's going to do is it's going to put it up in the air here. And then we're going to make it uh, the Z negative 2000, which is going to bring it really far back off the screen. And then make sure you hit a keyframe. If you don't, it won't save and uh, you'll have to redo it. So make sure you hit the keyframe. Then if you hit the forward button right here as you can see it flies in and there it's really simple and then uh, if we render it here you know it doesn't really matter where you render it but there and then uh, all you have to do is save it 
Uh, but it's really simple how to do a fly intro. Um, you know, it's not the best type of intro, but it's pretty cool, uh, pretty basic. And uh, I use it because, like I said, it's pretty basic. Um, also, if you were to do extrude nerves on the outside, um, I'm going to show you real quick what I'm talking about. We're going to change this back to zero, change this back to zero, just so I can see what I'm working on, and then make the keyframe right now. And then uh, we're going to copy this, so control C, and then control V, and then what that's going to do is it's going to copy it. Now, if you make it half, and then uh, change the coordinates to 20, and then put on some caps, fill it cap it cap whatever um, as you can see actually we'll change the color so you can actually see um, there we go as you can see now I have fillet caps uh, the font on the inside and you're actually gonna have to move that up too so uh, what you want to then do is hit control on both of, uh, hit control and select both of them and then hit alt G and what that's gonna do is it's gonna group them together that way when you move one of them they both move together and they're not messed up and uh, we're gonna make sure the the 3Dness isn't there. We go. Make sure the 3D isn't under, uh, like under the in the floor, like I said last time. Fly out, and now as you can see, now we have a null object. So uh, you're probably gonna have to do the same thing. Oh, this one comes up weird. Um, take off the keyframe. Oops, the keyframe. There we go. And now as you can see, it uh, does nothing. It should do nothing. Oh, it still does something. Awesome. All right, this one took it too. There we go. So there, as you can see, uh, they both do nothing. If you copy and paste them, they would do the same thing. But then just do this first, and then if you render it out, now we want to make it fly in. And I'm not sure why that one's like that. Oh, yeah. Change the coordinates to 20. There we go. There we go. That looks good. All right, now make sure you click the null object part, because uh, that's both of them together. And then go ahead, 60 frames. Why is this changing? Uh, I don't save stuff. Alright, I'm going to redo it real quick. Go to MoGraph, because this is what you're going to do. Um, fly in intro, make the depth 80, change the font, force black, uh, that looks good. Um, copy, paste, control C, control V, change the depth to half of it, and then change the coordinates to a fourth of it, and that's going to put it in the middle. And then add in some fillet caps, like so. And then we'll just add in some color. Boom. Boom. And then hit Control on both of them. Alt G, not Control uh, Control G, but Alt G. Uh, that's going to group them together. Just move them up above the floor a little bit. Oops. Oops. There we go. And then uh, go ahead the 60 frames right here. Make a keyframe. Make sure you're on the null object. Make a keyframe, and then go back to zero. Hold down the click the rotation tool. Hold down shift. Drag it 100 and I mean 360 degrees, and then change the coordinates to uh, 500. Negative 2,000. Then make a keyframe, and then if you hit play. Now it comes in with the extrude nerves and all that, well, the 3Dness and the uh, fillet caps and all that stuff. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you guys. And then, um, oh yeah, also to render out, just make sure you render it out properly. All frames. I, I've made a video about this, but, you know, I try to show you guys all the time. Format, quick time movie, options, this should be the same, animation, 30 frames. Um, Anti-aliasing, best, animation, and then you can just save it as whatever. But yeah, so hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If you guys have any questions uh, or you're doing something wrong and you need help, just let me know in a comment below. And uh, other than that, I'll talk to you guys later and have a great day.